Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the fourth video in a series of network optimization videos. And today we're going to look at the so-called shortest path problem. Now, the easiest way to understand the shortest path problem is to realize that it is actually a transshipment problem in which you are shipping yourself from one node of the network to another node of the network. And that's pretty much it. So if you have not watched my transshipment uh, video, I recommend you go do that first. I'm going to put a link to this in the top right-hand corner of, of this video and also a link down in the description below. But go through that so you understand how the transshipment problem works in terms of the math and the Excel model. And then the only difference, again, is that you select the starting point of your location in the network. That's going to be a supply node with a supply of one. This is you sitting there. You select a node of the network that is the destination where you want to go, you know, traveling the shortest path possible. That's going to be a demand node with a demand of one because that node wants you to get there. And for every other node of the network, you just say it's supply slash demand is equal to zero. Then you write the formulas and the Excel model using that sum if formula in the exact identical way that you did for the regular transshipment problem that we saw together and you're done. So um, let me again look at this example. Imagine that we had this network here that we saw together in the other video. And now what I want to do is this. Uh, these numbers in this table used to be costs. Let's say they were miles. How many miles in terms of distance from one node to the next? And these arrows are representing the roads I can travel through, right? So let me change that here. This is going to be miles. And what I'm interested in doing is this. Let's say I am currently at node 1. Maybe this is a city of this network that is a map of a region. I'm in node 1, and I want to get to node 6 by traveling the least amount of miles possible, right? Um, so node 1 will be my supply node with a supply of 1. That's me. Node 6 will be my demand node with a demand of 1. And nodes 2, 3, 4, 5 will have demand of 0. And that's the only change I have to make to the Excel. So if I'm beginning from the Excel that we solved in the transshipment example, I just rename this to miles um, for us to kind of remember what that is. And all I have to do is this. The node where I am has a supply of 1. Remember, supply is negative. Um, the nodes in between have a su supply a 0 slash demand 0. And the node where I want to go has a demand of 1. And again, this is just me transporting myself from one point to another. And that's all we have to do. So if I simply go into that solver model, the exact same one that we put together for the plain transshipment problem, I simply click Solve here. Notice I changed no formula. I changed no other setup in Solver. I simply changed who is supply, who is demand, and how much. And now we look at this and see, well, how do you go from node 1 to node 6 in this network in the least possible distance? Um, if you want, these numbers could also be, you know, time, hours to require to drive from one node to the other. It doesn't matter. So how do I go from node 1 to node 6 in this network by traveling the least amount of miles? The answer is you go from node 1 to node 3, right? The flow of 1, this is me f traveling from node 1 to node 3. And then I travel from node 3 to node 6. So the shortest path mile-wise is going this way and then this way. And that distance is 25 miles. That's it. So quite simple. Once you understand the transshipment problem, as I said, shortest path is just a special case of you shipping yourself. Um, again, if you haven't seen the transshipment video, go there and you'll be able to solve any shortest path problem uh, you need to solve. That's it. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.